What is going on guys, Marcel here and today I'm finally able to show you what is probably my favorite livery in the recent years of Formula 1 and that is a white Red Bull. Yeah, it's a special livery that was supposed to be run at a Japanese GP but as there's no Japanese GP this year, Red Bull was running this in Turkey and this is the first time that I got my hands now on this livery and I absolutely love it. Uh, also with the number 24, I think it looks great. And we are gonna do a bit of time trial today around Imola. Trying to set a hot lap. Um, it's not the first time that I drove the track. I did it like quite early. Um, but yeah, I haven't driven it in a while. And now we are trying to set a good lap. I don't think we're going for a world record here. We're just going for a decent lap. I want to um, give you a little track guide, show you the setup. And uh, because I have limited time, I also cannot grind because we're in the eSports practice phase. The first event didn't go that well, but we're working hard to make the second event a more successful one than the first one. And so, yeah, I'm currently recording this in my lunch break between the first practice session, the second one, and then there's a little break and then the third practice session. So we are probably practicing around eight hours today, uh, today or like at the moment. Um, so, yeah. And aside from that, I still create content and need to catch some breaks. But let's not talk further and get right to the action. Imola. So we are going to load Valentin Briffer. I think he's the first legit time. His setup is 810, 2.6. Then to the left, the rear camber. And then a standard middle 0.1 front toe and left rear toe. 171827 is the suspension. 150 the brake and those are the tire pressures with 23.8 at the front and 23.5 at the rears. Um, but what we are going to do now is have a more like a slower look at what we are doing during the lap. The lines are still the same that we took but we just have to build up more confidence and push a bit more and that's about it. So when we start our lap what we are looking for is positioning our car as much as we can here. Don't hit the inside curb and accelerate probably in fifth gear out of here to carry as much momentum as you can. Open the DRS and then you should see the delta be at least consistent to your best lap or even improve. Then we stay on the left here, position our car on the right on this curb, brake at the 50 meter board heavy, down to fourth or fifth, avoid the sausage curb, upshift, use all the track, power through here for the next corner we also want to position and use all the track at the 50 meter board by the end of the curb we turn and hit this one position our car here maybe at the sausage curb and be careful with track limits at the end of sector one and then right before the 50 border at the 50 we want to go into third gear get close here short shift into fourth use all the track and power through the hairpin now this one quite tricky at the 50 board you're kind of looking where you're going let's go back for a second 50 is kind of your reference, you're on the right, that's not where you turn in immediately. But it's around there, right after, or just about. And you want to really avoid hitting the grass, because with the grass you will understeer a bit. Hit the inside curb, not the sausage curb, it rotates you in 5th or 6th gear, use all the track. There on the left, then full throttle through this corner at the curb. And then you position the car to hit the inside, open up the steering wheel in 4th or 3rd gear, with short shift into 4th. That is the end of sector two at the 50 board and then the end of the curve you want to turn in cut as much as you can i know this wasn't invalid now but that's just because we're going to slow you can actually cut a lot here let me go back it will still be invalid now because of flashback basically this is not it basically what you really want to try and do is cut as much as you can in third or fourth key here and then position with the cut on the right, the left hander a bit better, and with that also the exit. So basically you want to aggressively go over the right, then you're kind of straightening up the steering wheel and using all the track. And that's how you take the line. For the last two corners, it's downhill, really tricky to find the braking point, and that is, in my opinion, right at the black box, like when you go full speed. When you see this black box here on the right, right around there, or when the barrier ends on the right, you brake heavy, position your car on the right here, 
then hug the inside curb, gives you a bit of rotation. Travel out, don't get an off track. Use the inside curb here for a bit of rotation and power through. And this is a lap of Imola. Um, reset personal best. So we had a 0.5 as a personal best. Maybe we can top that. I'm not gonna spend too much time, but here it is, the white Red Bull. Oh my god, guys, this looks amazing. I love it. I always wanted the white Red Bull and here it is. I would love to run this all the time. Um, oh, oops, there was no false feedback for a second. Um, but yeah, the first impression, Codemasters did a great job on this track. Oh, okay. It's really accurate compared to some other tracks. I mean, Portimo is also amazing, um, but this track is really good. They nailed the curves and everything. It's not laser scanned from what I know. It's also, you can gain a lot of time on these. The first chicane is super sand. In overall, this track, I haven't raced on there yet online. We will do that also on stream. I haven't streamed in ages in case you missed the streams. But yeah, let's get a first impression of what even is going on here. I love the track, it's amazing. Really well done, Cold Master. Oh, wait, we're invalid. When did we get invalid? Well, doesn't matter. We're just setting a nice, decent little reference for us. I think this is a big cut. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about Imola. I think actually Codemasters did a brilliant job. And I hope there will be more tracks getting reworked in the future, especially Spa. As we're currently preparing for that in F1 Esports. And what I noticed, the DRS is a bit broken. Wait, are we on realistic or are we on equal? We are on equal, okay, good. Because I don't want a realistic Red Bull. I think it's faster here. There are some interesting lines that you have to take to go really fast. Let's see how quickly we can get those. That is not a cut, come on man. We messed up big time there. Ah, oh, pain. That was actually painful. Exiting in fourth gear there felt a bit quicker, I'm not sure. Rather than short drift into fifth. Ah, we lost a bit of time. It's tricky to find a traction there. Without cutting. A small improvement. We might take this lap. It's a decent one. E20 in the leaderboard. Not perfect. But you know, I'm not trying to send the best lap ever now. I want a good lap. This was quite good. You have seen a couple of mistakes, especially in the quick left. Then after Aqua Minerale, or however you pronounce it. The chicane into the third sector. These corners here have definitely a tenth in there. It's all about carrying that momentum, but we already understand the lines. And that's the most important thing to give you a track guide in the hot lap. In the white Red Bull.
Okay. Unfortunately, we have to take this lap for now. It's just a 475, um, but it's still decent. It's, I think, the 20th best time. Well, if we 19th best time on the leaderboard. Um, it's not the greatest. It's not the best. We are P20 on the leaderboard, P6 on the friends leaderboard. Uh, and as you can see, most of the other esports guys also didn't really do much yet. And we all did it on the first time we drove it. And yeah, that's kind of it. And I'm really sorry that we couldn't go for the world record or any faster time right now. It's literally limited time. I have 40 minutes now until the next practice session. I still have to record two or three more videos if I can. So um, you guys have a bit of content on YouTube. I'm sorry. It's just the esports season. I'm really, really sorry. I hope you understand that. And uh, let me know what you think about the Red Bull livery and about Imola. What is your first impression? I will see you in the next one. Cheers for tuning in, guys. Peace.